I'm going to challenge professional football players until one of them accepts to play the new FC24 with me. And this challenge is so serious that I'm even going to a different continent to try and accomplish this mission. My goal is to answer the biggest question on every FIFA player's mind. Can a professional football player also be a professional in video games? Chapter 1. Do you accept the challenge? And the best way to answer that question is by playing FC24 with a professional football player. Ronaldo, up for a game in FC24? If you manage to beat me, I won't tell anybody that you use Messi on your career mode. But the first rule of this challenge is, I can only stop when a professional player accepts to play with me. Luisito, let's play a 1v1 in FC24, but you cannot bite me if I win. The second rule is, I can't let them know that I'm recording a video. What's up, Ney? Up for a challenge in FC24 while living the shake life? If you win, I'll give you a flying carpet. And the third rule, if a player from another country accepts the challenge, I need to buy a ticket and travel to play with them. Oh, and here's what my friends said when I told them about this challenge. Dude, this is nuts. If they must suddenly agree, are you serious? Is flying off to Saudi Arabia or what? I mean, the video idea is fine, but maybe try with some less known players. Getting a huge soccer player to say yes sounds like a long, long, long shot. They might think I lack the courage and that going through all of this for a video is madness. But I'm not here on YouTube just for fun. I'm here to make history. Next up, Rodrigo, the comeback maestro who led Real Madrid to the 2022 Champions League final. What up, Drigo? I know you can dribble a whole team in real football, but can you do that against me in FIFA? I bet you can't. Okay, okay, enough of the drama. Vinny Jr. scored the title winning goal in the 2022 Champions League final. I dare you to play FIFA with me. If I win, you give me your jersey. But if you win, I'll survive your workout routine for 30 days. Carlos Enrique, Jose Francisco, Venancio Casemiro. Think you can score a goal for each Champions League you've won against me in FIFA? I don't think so. Marcelo, this guy decided to tattoo the Champions League trophies he won and he ran out of space in his leg. <laughs> if you beat me 3-0 in FIFA, I'll get a tattoo for all my YouTube play buttons. And I sent him a picture of all my play buttons. Just to flex. Why am I trying to flex? He's won five Champions League. Oh, and you should know that these guys actually read my messages. My mission is just to convince them with my extremely high charisma. Hi, would you play with me? I'm cool. Modric, he's great, but he left me feeling sad. 1v1 me in FIFA, and I'll forgive you for eliminating Brazil in last year's World Cup. <laughs> Romario, already retired, but he must miss scoring goals, so I'm going to text him. Oh, and I really like this interview he did with Fred on Desimpedidos. Quem jogou mais? Eu falo o nome e você responde. Certo. Lewandowski. Eu. Haaland. Eu. Benzema. Eu. Henri. Pô, oh, claro que fui eu. <laughs> Remember me? Up for a 1v1 in FC24? I have messaged 10 players already. Not a single one has seen a message yet, but I'm not giving up. Lucas Moura. Whenever you feel tired, use this product to feel better. Look at me doing free ads just for the joke. De Bruyne. He's a great player, but he also eliminated my Brazil. Missing watching you play. While you're not back on the field, how about an FC24 1v1 at your place? Messi. No need to explain who this is, right? November 21st, Brazil versus Argentina at Maracanã. I'll bring the PS5 and we kick back a friendly match. What you say? Ronaldinho Gaúcho, the master of beautiful paintings. Come back to the Brazilian national team. Ronaldo Phenomena. Come back to the Brazilian national team. Haaland. This one is not even a human. Haaland, Haaland goes so bright. Scores them left and scores them right. In the field a blazing star. Rising fast and going far Like my song? Sergio Ramos Legendary defender Red card to you Reason? Still didn't play FC24 with me Mbappé Owner of PSG I sent this beautiful invitation to him Impossible to refuse, right? Ibrahimovic The god of football According to himself What you think of a mortal like me Playing an FC24 match against you? After sending 20 messages I decided to take a break Because I ran out of creativity To send different messages to each player I just didn't expect that a few hours later it happened. A player from the Brazilian national team saw my message. Look at this bro, Rodrigo saw it. I'm so happy. The big problem is that he hasn't replied yet. I really hope he responds to me, but in the meantime, while he doesn't get back to me, I'll keep DMing other players and of course keep an eye on the notifications. But bro, if I played with Rodrigo, it would be a dream coming true. Griezmann, I can invite you to play some FIFA, but if you'd rather, I can crush you on Fortnite. Haha. <laughs> David Ruiz, this message smell nice. Sorry, my, my cat stole my phone. Oh, what am I doing? Ederson, FIFA might not allow your miraculous saves. Think you can beat me? Challenge on. Gabriel Jesus, for me to beat you in FIFA, it'll take a miracle. But I'm in, let's do it! Lucas Paqueta, wanna dance some FIFA with me? Do you get it? Like, dance, Paqueta, dance, 
no? Benzema. Hey Benzema, I bet in a FIFA 1v1, you could score just with your thoughts. Ready for the challenge? Marquinhos. I know a world where yellow cards are just pixels on a screen. Let's do it. Harry Kane. Ever thought about swapping your cleats for PS5 controllers? Hope not, because that would be pretty uncomfortable. Yeah, I know it's nonsense. Cristaldo, the Grêmio kid. If you accept to play a FIFA match with me, I'll come to the Grêmio Stadium in November and bring you a gift. Oh, and I'm really going for it, you know? The Grêmio Stadium is just two and a half hours from here. Vitor Rocket. Football player or guitar player? Because like, your name, Rock. <laughs> My bad, bro. And when I looked at the DMs to see if anyone replied, <gasps> Rodrigo sent me a message. Look at this, it's, it's real, it's him, bro. <laughs> Oh my god, bro, I'm literally shaking. Wow, he plays for Real Madrid. I have to travel to Spain. Let me check the price of that ticket. Ouch. But it doesn't matter. It's for the best reason possible. Oh, and take a look at his message. Hey, Jelaya. Dude, I might be up for it, but with a few conditions. You have to bring me a gift, but it has to be handmade by you. Score a hat trick with me on the hard difficulty and go to the Bernabeu Watch a Real Madrid game. Deal? These are three tasks I need to complete to reach the ultimate goal, and they keep getting more challenging. I'll follow his order. And the first mission is to make a gift for him. My idea is to create a mini Rodrigo figurine, something like this, but blocky like in Minecraft. I chose to reference Minecraft because it's the content that has marked my journey as a content creator the most. That just makes me even more fond of this gift I'm going to create. To get an idea of the figurine I'm going to make, I already modeled it in the computer. I've created a digital version of the gift and now I need to bring it to real life. First, I made some aluminum molds to have a base for the clay. Now, my dad and I are going to shape each little part of the body with the clay. The assembly is one of the most challenging parts because the clay is very soft. After that, it's just a matter of putting it in the oven to dry, turning on the oven and waiting for at least an hour. And now it's time to paint this little guy entirely. After a long painting process, I applied a layer of varnish to make him shine and provide some protection. Oh, and I added my mini World Cup trophy next to Rodriguinho to see if he attracts victory in the next World Cup. For First task completed. Now I need to score three goals with Rodrigo in FC24 and travel to Spain to watch a Real Madrid game. I already have the game open to try and complete the second challenge Rodrigo sent me. First I'll position Rodrigo as a center forward, right in the box to make it easier to score goals with him. Now I have to change the difficulty to legendary. Okay, let's start the game. My goal is to complete this challenge first try in this match because I don't have much time and I already bought the tickets for the flight. It departs in 12 hours. No, I pressed the wrong button. Come on, Rodrigo! Uh, first match ended and still no goal from Rodrigo. After the first attempt I said, now it's going to happen, I'll get into the second match. The problem is that I kept missing sitter goals. I don't know how to shoot in this game. But I was doing everything right. I thought the game was like that because it had just been released or maybe there was a new gameplay. But after losing two hours playing and watching tutorials and changing settings, I finally managed to find the right one. Just a goal. Just a goal! Yeah! Yes! That's it, bro! That's it! And after that, I managed to get the ball rolling again. Come on! Come on! Another goal! Another goal! <laughs> Two goals in the first half! Suddenly, dude, just one more goal in this match. Please, I've been trying it for like three hours. Now, come on, Rodrigo! Do score it! Come on, Rodrigo! Now you just score a goal. I can't believe it. I <laughs> Second mission completed, and now there's only the most insane one left. Travel to another continent, watch the Real Madrid game, and hope that Rodrigo responds me again. In a journey marked by achievements and unexpected challenges, it's time to take a step into the unknown. The taste of accomplishment is starting to show, but the uncertainty of what's to come is undeniable. Regardless of what happens, I know I'm about to experience one of the best feelings in my life. <laughs> Eu cheguei na hora, mano! The players are entering the field to start the game and exactly at 4.17 in the afternoon, the game began. Nine minutes later, I had the privilege of witnessing Jude Bellingham scoring a fantastic goal right in front of me. The atmosphere in this place is out of this world. It's an indescribable feeling. Then I had the privilege of witnessing another brilliant play. This time it was Vinny Jr's dribble that left some players clueless. But unfortunately, he was fouled, so it was not a goal. As the game progresses, I get closer to completing Rodrigo's challenge. With 8 minutes left in the game, a player from Osasuna blocked the shot by Kroos with his hand, resulting in a penalty. I hope this penalty is taken by Rodrigo. Oh, it's Jose Lu taking the penalty. I wish it were Rodrigo, but that's alright. Let's hope he scores. Here goes Jose Lu and the goalkeeper saved it. When the game was in stoppage time, Rodrigo made this beautiful header that almost went in, but... End of the match, 4 goes to the hill. Oh my 
my god, this is crazy. After the end of the game, the stadium emptied out very quickly and I managed to complete all three challenges that Rodrigo had given. Guys, I just left the game and it was an incredible experience. I just sent a message to Rodrigo. Now I just need to wait for his answer. Too nervous. I don't know if it's gonna happen. The adrenaline from watching the match and the anticipation for a response from Rodrigo. Every notification in my phone made my heart race. But the night passed and I still didn't hear anything. Then in the next morning... Guys, you won't believe me. He actually texted me. So today is the day I'm going to Rodrigo's house to film with him. Oh... <laughs> I already received the location of Rodrigo's house, but our meeting will only happen in the evening. So to distract myself, I decided to visit two football museums. And a fun fact, on Legends, the world's largest football museum, there's the jersey that Rodrigo himself wore in the historic comeback of Real Madrid against Manchester City in the semi-finals of the 2022 Champions League, when he scored two goals in injury time to lead his team to the final. On my way to Rodrigo's house, I couldn't help but think, will he be really good at FC24? Is his house big? What if he doesn't like the gift I made? Okay, okay, what's the worst that can happen? Just kidding, folks, I'm not that anxious. <laughs> But when the moment of the meeting came, I was so nervous that I couldn't muster any reaction. And yes, my friends, after a long journey full of emotions, a trip across the ocean, an incredible Real Madrid match, seeing up close, the big moment arrived. Preparado então para te amassar no Cinematic? Vocês vão ver o final, com certeza que eu vou amassar ele. Qual foi o meu potencial? Você mandou os desafiozinhos lá na minha DM. Um deles era trazer um presente do Brasil, você já tá vendo aqui. <risos> pegar o presente dele. Você conhece alguma coisa de Minecraft? Nada. Nada, mas você sabe que é quadrado. Tá? Sim, isso é isso. Então, é o bonequinho do Rodrigo feito dentro do Minecraft. Ah, e aí eu trouxe ele pra vida real. É pra representar o Rodriguinho na Copa de 2026, pra trazer sorte. Pra trazer sorte. Obrigado. E agora é a hora da gameplay. Bora! I know it may not seem like it in the video, but behind that tense face, I was very happy. Especially because after this, I'll get to play some serious FIFA with Drago. Oh, and let me take this moment to thank Rodrigo, his family, friends, and his team for the warm welcome. Thank you so much. And the challenge I've prepared to play with Rodrigo will be called FC24 Bingo. We both have a 5x5 grid with 25 squares and each square contains a move or objective to complete in the game. The first one to complete 5 items in a row wins the challenge. Rodrigo and I are prepared. And I know you really want to watch this duo, so if you really want it, subscribe to the channel with notifications on. Big hugs to everyone, see you there.